Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh He's going straight under that damn boat, man. Delicious bread. A couple of fresh servings of that. We'll make this coffee and get the hell out of here. Well, it's Naughty Jade, Naughty Pleasures. It's probably about 5.30 in the morning. This morning we're going to be going down to um, the hacking. I've got to get some mullet and we're going to throw some live baits out if we can get them. Finally, the wind's down, everything's aligned for a little fish. So we're not going to waste any time. We'll get straight down there and uh, hopefully we get on to something. Look at that bread. Got some fresh gar from the other day still. Uh, maybe a couple of mullet in there. Once we use this though, we're out. So that's that. And of course, can't start the morning without that damn coffee. Oh, that's stuff. Down the spot, baby. Oh, the big guns are out. Let's do it. All right, we're almost there. It's that special time of the morning. All right, here we go, down the magic spot. I haven't seen the tide this low in a long time down here again. So, that's what we want. So we're just on the start of the um, turn of the tide again. It should be coming back in shortly. So we'll have about two to three hours before we've got to get out of here. Probably say about three. I can see a couple of ripples on top of the water anyway, so we should be able to get some live bait. You know the drill. Get that garfish, put it in the first, uh, or mullet. Put it in the first little bit of water we can find. Start defrosting. Well, we set up the rods. Keep the lid on it, because those crows will, will sneak up behind you. They're sneaky. Yeah, let's get the rest of this gear in. I just saw some kingfish. You thought I didn't see you, didn't you? But I see you. There's a kingfish. See where that water's green, and this just the start of the drop off of the sand. Just came and swam in. Had a little look around. Pissed off. Just put one more rod holder out and we're uh, pretty much good to go. Still can't believe that the kingfish come so far down this river and they just hover. Well, I can't believe it because there's so much bait, why well, wouldn't you come down here and just smash stuff straight off the sandboat? I don't know if you can see the top of this water too, and there's a bunch of little bait fish being pushed up to the top. And that's a very good sign. Right, they're ready. Yeah, fish. That's a bait right there. First bait, get on out. The kingfish is right here. I'll just put that out like one and a half meters away from me. If that rod goes off, this is going to be crazy.
see those kings everywhere. They're only small ones, but they're just all hovering around the front here. Surely that was not Brim running in for that. That isn't what we want. And the, um, the tides have just changed over. So when I put that in the ground, that was dry. Water's coming up. So tides starting to come in. Let's change some baits up. All I'm looking for. A metre long flatty on this rod. Dewey about 1.5 metres off the middle rod and we'll go a nice 30 kilo kingy or something on the end. We'll keep it small. Three baits here. Let's try and uh, catch some damn bait. What's going on? We're going to go for the nose pin today. We're going through the top of the nose this morning and we'll see if this makes a difference. Pop him in real shallow too. Just off the edge of the drop off. Yeah. Just like that. We've got another livey. Let's get it out. Oh. Tangled around the charger. Oh.
Just like that, we've gone from nothing to having three live baits now. And now we're definitely in with a chance. Now I can catch bait in peace. This tide is <coughs> coming in. I'm gonna have to move my bag again up there. Esky's no good down here shortly. <coughs> it's gonna be like 1.7 or something. I'm gonna have to get down here and pump some nabbies. At some point, there was some monstrous warding of this past. Right, we're packing up, we're gonna get out of here. Oh, let's have a little look down here. What can we see this morning? The sand bar is looking pretty free. No one's come up here yet. Right. Water's looking real good. Let's get down there. Just, we are at the beautiful Port Hacking River this morning. It's been a while since we've been down here. Actually, I was here a few days ago, but I've been working in the meantime. Got no bait this morning. No bait at all. I've just brought bread down, and we're going to try and get some live baits, and we're going to pop them out on that sandbar behind me. Um, I also brought the yabby pump. I'm going to start mixing it up and fishing with yabbies and live bait. Just so we're, we're mixing it up. Everything loves the yabby, you know what I mean? So uh, I won't waste any more time. You know, this delicious coffee. Oh, yes. I'll see you down the spot. Get some uh, bread in the water and boil up. Baby, first Finally, mate. It only took 45 minutes. A little something like that. Two baby, get it out. Once I get enough yabbies, I'll um, put the little rod out. Give me a little look. I've got about four or five or something like that, so far. Money. That's what we're after. Ten decent. Yeah, be safe, huh? 
here. I'm just going to rig up the um, size 6 long shank hook, maybe size 10, I'm not sure yet. And we'll get it out on um, one of the, the real skinny rod I've got here. Can't even think straight. So that sweat dripping off the end of my nose. I haven't got any orange beads today, so we're going to use a green. We'll use a size 6. If we need to, we'll move up to a size 2. We'll start off small. I haven't seen any monster whiting down here. Actually, we're going to go size 2. Haven't said that. My yabbies are pretty damn big. What do you want for your yabbies? Long shank. Size 2 to 10 is pretty much all you need. Rocking one of the new shirts too. Got the big back rocker on this one, the naughty pleasures. You can see that. That's all I'm rocking. Something like that. Let's go see if we can convert these into fish. Hook, a yabby, slide it straight through the end of the tail here. We've got like a little poo shoot, and he should just slide straight up over the hook, and he'll bite you sometimes. You can snap that claw off. I don't blame him for biting me, I'm sticking a hook up his ass. Yeah, a little something like that. I hope so, I hope something is it. <laughs> it's not even easy to get in fast. <laughs> I'll take a puff of fish at the moment. Oh, we can see what happens. Oh yeah, baby. Turn my back. Get it out. crazy cloud rolling in if that's not a storm I don't know what is come in got three three pikelets there for you my friend Tomonosto Spiritus Santi Let bring us luck on the fishing mission. Good boy. Look at the game, mate. All right. You know what's happened. I'm back down at the spot today. We're not playing any more games. There's no intros, no niceties, no nothing. I've got some, a uh, couple of wadding brother in court last time, one, one of the last times we were down here, I'm gonna, that's the only bait I've got, I'm going 
going to throw out two nice big pieces of them on two rods and then we'll try and catch live bait. The Weather Bureau has lied too. They said it was supposed to be about eight, nine knots. It's blowing way more than that. So we'll see what happens anyway. Let's get these baits out. some of these levies out or wait for the big rods to go. Brother, it's about bloody time. You know, we'll dispatch him and uh, hopefully we get a couple more and they'll have a nice food tonight. Come on. Spewing. What? Got them 
Strijken mag ook. I've never seen that before in my life. Something snipped a line and it um it crushed my sinker. <laughs> what the hell is going on with that? Wow. Look at that, my imprint and everything. The sinker will still work, but um seen that before ever that's out of control anyone know what that is have they, have they ever had that before just saw some more flashes of lightning the sun is getting louder that's my time to get the hell out of here let these jabbies go. So, uh, finally, it was four days to get a bloody grim of all things. But uh, tough fishing, baby. We got it in the end. See you on the next one. Let's just get out of one.